the Johnny Bekov effect applied to flat earth. Now, I don't know what flat earth really looks like, what the dimensions are, but I'm going to use this model I created ages ago. And I'm going to flatten it. Size Z. Yeah, it's the one. Let's have a look. It's not really flat yet. Size Z. There we go. It's a pretty flat Earth. I guess it, if Earth was flat in space, it would probably be something like that. Let's make it a bit of flatter. Okay, that's flat earth. Australia's underneath, Antarctica, and on top. Now I don't really know the proper dimensions of flat earth, but I'm going to go with that. Let's try it out. Let's see if the Johnny Bekov effect affects flat earth. All right, we're running. Let's speed it up. We're spinning. Speeding up time. What's happening? If I look at the red line at the top, it starts to wobble slightly. Yep, it's going to flip over. It's going to flip over. There it goes. Flipping. Yep. There we go. And then it stabilizes again. Speed it up even faster. That's the flat earth. Um, with the Johnny Beckoff effect. I'll speed it up even more. Yeah, it's gonna it's about to flip again. Here it goes. You can there we go, it'll stabilize again. I'm just gonna slow that right down. Pressing X. Okay, you can do this too. If you've got Blender, you can go to my github page here I'll put a link in the description and you can download the model that's that's the file there and you just open that in blender like it says there press P to start the animation press s to speed up the orbit or time and press X to slow it down again and uh, cool um, Thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe and share.